Psalm 135, verses 13 through 21. Some things in the Bible are so important that God repeats them. And the last uh, verses in Psalm 135 parallel Psalm 115. These verses describe the dead idols of the nations. He says this in verse 15, The idols of the nations are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Neither is there any breath in their mouths. They that make them are like unto them. So is every one that trusteth in them. Here we see the folly of idolatry, worshiping silver and gold, the work of men's hands. But that's going on today, isn't it? Aren't most of the people that we know worshiping the works of their own hands? How do you know what you are worshiping? Oh, the thing you work for, the thing you sacrifice for, the thing you live for, that's your God. And with some people it is silver and gold. With some people it's possessions. With some people it's ambition or other people. The psalmist shows us how foolish this is. These idols have mouths, but they can't speak. They have no promises. Our God speaks to us, and he gives us his promises in his word. They have eyes, but they cannot see. No protection. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous. He sees us. God's eyes are watching us every moment of the day. He never goes to sleep. He cares for his children. No promises, no protection, no prayer. They have ears, but they hear not. You stand and talk to an idol, you're talking to yourself. Oh, but our God's ears are open to our cries. He says, call unto me and I will answer thee. But the saddest thing about idolatry is that you become like the God that you worship. They that make them are like unto them, so is every one that trusteth in them. But if we worship the true and living God, we become like him. We're transformed into the image of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's give thanks today that our God speaks to us. Hear his word, obey it. Our God watches us. Let's obey him. Our God hears us when we cry. He loves us. He cares.